How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the legendary Frieza Pure Saiyans mission. And I figured for this one, we'd actually run the low-class warrior team, utilizing the tech Bardock and a friend, AGL Bardock. So we can actually kind of give this guy his due. We're mostly doing the AGL Bardock because we couldn't find another friend, tech Bardock, but hey, this works. This should be the one event where this dude can actually cook in. So we'll see what we can actually do with him. Hopefully we actually get some good, um, we get some good turns here. Um, and that allow him to stack. Of course, this turn, he decided not to do an additional super. So hopefully we can make up for that in a future turn. All right. So perfect. Um, we also got Raditz hanging out here. That was kind of the joke I wanted to do with this one. Full low class warrior, but also putting um, um, also putting Raditz on the team just for some silliness. All right, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so both mine and the friend are rainbowed. So we're working with rainbow stats on both of these guys. We did bring this, uh, the fifth Super Saiyan Bardock, not on low class warrior, but he does, um, link very well with Bardock post, uh, post transformation. So that's the main reason he's here. All right, excellent. So now we got our setup. We got Tora here, so I want to keep Tora and Bardock together because Tora supports, right? So that's very helpful. Um, let's stick Bardock here. Hopefully, we'll probably just get the one super, but it'll work. Oh crap! I didn't mean to float off Tora. Oh well, it worked. Whatever. It's not really that big of a deal right now. You guys will have to excuse my voice. I am slowly losing my voice. Uh, as always, when I go on these trips, I tend to get a little sick. So hopefully the voice is back in time for the anniversary. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, that super is right there in slot one. All right, you know what? Let's do it. I want to see how he tanks this early enough right this shouldn't do too much we've gotten a couple stacks on the friend here oh yeah we're good sweet here we go look at him launching 10 million attacks oh, oh well not additional okay that's how it's gonna be All right, Tech Bardock, you need to build. Even though you're floating, we need you to build up. We gotta make sure we get those orbs with him. There we go, we get the double super, we'll take that. He does build on super attack. So, good thing we get that extra super. Nice. All right, uh, Raditz is here. I don't even think we'll get to the super attack. I was gonna say, let's chuck him in front of the super attack, but I don't even think we're gonna get to it. Pretty sure, yeah, between Bardock and the LR team Bardock, we're probably going to kill him. Well, maybe not. Let's see what happens. Or even if we don't, I'm pretty sure Raditz does. So. 
What would actually be nice is if we can make up for those turns before and Bardock actually get a double or a triple here. There's one. Nope. There we go. Okay, I'll take a double. That's fine. That's the hidden potential proc. That's the funny thing. There we go. Oh yeah, Team Bardock definitely going to destroy him now. Radis is just kind of along for the ride, I guess. There we go. Alright, perfect. So that rolls us into the STR phase now. Yeah, this is where the difficulty starts to ramp up a little. Not crazy, but enough that, you know, the, if the wrong unit takes a super here, we may have some trouble. So we're going to have to play a little more carefully with where we put starting units. Or we can just have this and have no slot one attack. Perfect. Perfect. So let's grab that. Alright, this is actually a pretty nicely supported turn, actually. Look at that. 11 million. Nice. Alright, and of course we take the super. Alright, Tora, let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep doing what we're doing. No rainbow orbs here, though. That sucks. We got one, I guess. That's the best we're going to do for Bardock here. Nice. Okay, we get the additional. We get the triple this turn. Yeah, there we go. Triple defense raise. Excellent. All right. And that takes us to the full power freeze of the scary phase. So hopefully we built up enough defense with our Bardocks here because we have to tank these full power shots. Hmm. Who do we stick in front here? I guess Bardock's probably got the most defense. I just, I don't. Fizz Bardock, if he eats the super beforehand, he's in trouble. And again, if Raditz eats anything, he's in trouble. Oh, there's that super. Actually, so Fizz Bardock actually would have been alright, since the first couple of attacks were normals. Oh, okay. AGL Bardock is fine. There we go. 10 million. All right, we get the double. Ah, uh, no triple. That would have been nice. But at least we don't have to worry about Raditz eating a super now. Look at that powerful 10 million attack. Alright, so let's see here. Well, we know AGL Bardock can tank, so we may as well just stick. Oh, look at that. Actually, we can just transform him then. Me! Me! I'm going to defeat you! Excellent, okay. Alright, let's grab this. So, let's watch Bardock do what Bardock do. 
There we go. Dodge. Dodge. Yes. A oh, one hit. Love it. <clears throat> so this is where things get fun for him, right? We're dodging everything. We have guaranteed crits. And of course I can't get the edit. Well, okay, we get one additional. Would have been nice to get all three. Nice. Or even four. That could have been a four super turn. There we go. We get the double super out of T Bardock. I love how they're actually viable now. That's the best part about it. <laughs> but the rest of their free-to-play team isn't. Alright, nice. We are in the final phase. So let's transform our other Bardock. Me! Me! I'm going to defeat you! Excellent. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's grab that. Um, I guess... Oh, we should have grabbed that Rainbow Warp. That is what it is. I love how he didn't decide to do the one thing he was supposed to do. At least we only take double digits. Time to get serious. All right, so we got the Dokkan mode, so we're actually going to deal quite a bit of damage here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna go all out. Ooh, look at that. This one's a lot better. Nice. We get another super. Ooh. Aw, oh, you couldn't make that four. Okay. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, well, the good news is we could probably use the other Tech Bardock's active skill. Oh, well, he's not on here. Okay, never mind. Uh, no, that's right, we only brought one. Okay, well, we can use Raditz's then. Let's do it, Raditz. That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. God damn it! Excellent. Okay. Somehow he couldn't kill type advantage, but whatever. Alright, well, let's let Bardock finish it. How's he link with. Oh, okay. It's actually not that different. Alrighty, let's do this. We should have just threw Raditz in front for fun. He would have been all right, right? It's not that bad. Who am I kidding? He probably would have. He would have eaten a super. Here we go. And the... Nice. All right, and this should do the job. Alrighty, so there you have it, folks. There is Pure Saiyan's mission done with the low class warrior team um, against the legendary Frieza mission. I knew I had to try to do something fun with this one because, you know, Pure Saiyan is just such a crazy category. You literally load up any recent unit within the last three months that's Pure Saiyan and probably knock this out in a heartbeat. But I wanted to take advantage of Bardock and have some fun. And honestly, that's kind of what I feel like this event is for, is having fun. Not too hard, but just difficult enough towards the end where you got to plan out your team and 
give some stackers a chance to really see their numbers. I do like it. I might start using this for my 55% showcases, but we'll see. So guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let us know what team did you use to clear the Pure Sands mission. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.